In the last two and a half to three years, I've had literally only two goals. And these two goals were, the first one was to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And the second one, to hit a million subscribers on YouTube. And it's crazy. In the last seven months, I hit both those goals, which is insane. And I never thought it would be this quick. Like, to go from 100,000 to a million in the span of about seven months is ridiculous. But it did happen. It is what happened. And now I'm at somewhat of a crossroads because for the longest time, also, my focus was entirely on YouTube Shorts. And because I knew YouTube Shorts was the way to get big on YouTube. YouTube Shorts was a gold mine. It still is. And I'm going to continue posting YouTube Shorts because... Not only are they fun and easy to make, but I also feel like it is still the best way to build a great community on YouTube. Now, with that being said, the last thing I want to do is fizzle out. I don't want to fizzle out. I love, I love this. Like, I love being a YouTuber. I love making videos. I love interacting with my community. And I've been kind of taking some time here the last few weeks just to see what the future of this channel is going to look like. I've been doing some live streams, I've been doing a few long form videos, and getting some new equipment. I'm kind of playing out with camera angles, with lighting, with different things, and I'm trying to decide how I want to continue this, because the point I'm at now, I don't think making only shorts is the right thing for me. I think I need to expand into some other avenues. Um, one thing I definitely don't want to do is I don't want to be on other platforms at the moment. And what I mean by that is, I mean, I am on Instagram and Twitter, and I'm not really posting on TikTok anymore. The main thing I meant by that is I don't want to be on Twitch to live stream because I just don't like Twitch overall as a platform. I think it's a very, I think it's a platform that doesn't really do anything for its creators. For that reason, I want to be on YouTube. And I believe that YouTube live streaming I think they're going to figure it out, man. I really do think that. And I did a few live streams in the past few weeks here. They all went really well. So one thing or two things I want to continue doing moving forward is I want to continue live streaming and I want to continue making long form videos. Now, the kind of mentality I have as a video maker and every kind of video maker has different ideas about what they do and how they make videos depending on how they started. And for me... That was shorts, and there was a point I would literally post six TikToks a day back when TikTok was blowing up. Now, I can't do the same thing on YouTube because I just don't have that energy anymore. Plus, I'm not trying to make, you know, six videos that are low in quality. I'm trying to make two to three videos a day that are actually really good quality or that actually have engaging storylines and good audio. So with that being said, that's going to continue. I don't... I don't have any desire to stop posting shorts right now. Uh, right now, my goal, something I've been able to do, is posting two shorts a day. I'm going to try to keep that same energy going. But I'm going to be adding a live streaming schedule uh, more set because right now it is the holidays. I'm kind of going places a little bit. It's kind of hard to just have a set schedule at the moment. But um, it's definitely something I'm, I'm going to be working on and definitely something I'm going to get back into because I do think I can be a very good live streamer. But with that, I also want to start doing more long form. I think I can tell great stories if I do long form content. And this is something I really feel I can be great at. It's something I know YouTube loves, loves to reward as well. There's a lot of people who make those kinds of videos and I believe I can make very good ones because my goal is at the end of the day, as an entertainer, is to make you guys, the people watching, forget the world exists for as long as I'm here. That's my goal. For when you're watching my video, I want people, I want the people watching to be enjoying themselves to such an extent they forget the problems they have in the rest of, in the rest of the world. And that's always been my goal. There are various different ways to achieve that. There is retention editing in terms of YouTube. Um, there's compilations, there's storytelling, there is just so many different ways to do it. And I'm going to go down the way that I think I'm good at, which is storytelling and which is also social commentary. That's something I believe I am incredibly good at and I'm going to get better at it. The other day I heard a great quote from Casey Neistat of all people. He's just amazing. And he said, you spend your 20s figuring it out, you spend your 30s doing it, 
and you spend your 40s enjoying it. I'm 27. Like, I'm still taking my first steps here. Yes, I, I have an idea of what I want to do now on YouTube. I have an idea of how I can do it, but I'm still learning. I'm still getting better at it as we go. And I'm excited because this is a new challenge for me. Like, I've gotten very good at making YouTube shorts, and now I'm going to get very good at, at live streaming and making long-form videos. I have no doubt I'm going to get there. I, I literally have zero doubt in my mind that I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do it successfully. It might take some time. You know, the algorithms between short videos and long videos are different, but my goal, again, and like I said before, is to entertain the people watching, is to make them have such a good time when they watch the video that they forget the rest of the world exists. That's my goal. And Allegiance, I hope you'll be here for it, man, because it's been a crazy few uh, past few months. It has been very, very crazy, you know, and before that, no one really cared. No one knew who I was. And now, you know, I'm getting 100 million views a month on my shorts. 100 million views plus, which is just absolutely bonkers, man. And I want people, I want the world to know my name. I want them to know the name Ali Coca. That's me. And I know I can get there. It's just going to take some time. But hey, like I said, I'm still figuring it out. And if this, where I am right now, is still just figuring it out, I think I'll be just fine. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time.